Hey, Rich Friend, it's Vivian Rich here with Fresh Start Wealth Solutions. Uh, coming in today, share with you how to build wealth through business with ease, of course. But today, particularly, we are talking about setting up your business address. And I want to share with you a little bit about iPostal One. In particular, uh, yes, the price point is amazing. However, we are also want to make sure that we're getting this value of what we need for our businesses. So this particular iPostal, uh, this is the site here, and what it works perfectly for is for individuals and families, small business owners and home businesses. And we're particularly looking at the small office and home business and entrepreneur and startup. That's the thing that we, we find most attractive about this particular um, product. And the price point, as I said, was truly amazing. And it starts at $9.99 per month. And we're looking at virtual business address because with a, vir a virtual business address, you're able to create your business on a good foundation uh, as opposed to utilizing, switch over here, hope you guys are with me, as opposed to utilizing a U.S. postal uh, PO box or even uh, with regards to using the mail package offices only with a physical address that comes with iPostal, that means your business gets a real street address. So in that case, you're able to register your business with the federal government and get access to those government contracts. However, if you use something less than a physical address, it will not authenticate as a real address and therefore you will be unable to gain access to those government contracts as well as when you're building your business credit it will not convey over um, easily because it may look a little bit questionable uh, when they do google searches so what i like about this here physical addresses you can choose and you can also they're going to do a lot of different things for you you know, you can van, uh, view and manage your mail on an app online, which is absolutely perfect for those of us that like to have um, physical freedom, <laughs> okay? But I want to show with, share with you some of the addresses that, what it looks like when you're doing an address lookup and things of that nature. So some of the addresses that are available on, I, on here, I'll share with you one moment. So you'll want to look up the address and they have over 2,500 locations that you can choose from within the United States and international. You select your um, state and then you go ahead and you select your city. And uh, in my particular case, I'm looking at Orlando. Excuse me. Looking at Orlando and there, and I'm going to show you just how quickly this populates. So there's 14 different locations, and I encourage you to look at each location to make sure that the physical presence is suitable for your type of business. And when I say look and do your due diligence or research, that means take your address of the business and put it into a Google search. So I and here's one that's already listed for you that shows you what the outside of it will look like. And that may be great. However, it may not be the one for your business or it may be great for someone else's. And here's another. I just simply go through the Google search because trust and believe this is where the lending institutions and anyone that's going to invest in your business, they're going to be looking it up to see if you really have a business and if you're listed, you know, and what it looks like. And, um, you want to make certain that it does represent your business. So in that particular case, this is what 924 North Magnolia Avenue looks like. It may work for your business or it may not, but just be aware of it. So in my case, I did choose a location already, and I just ask you to go ahead and do your due diligence and choose a location that's most suitable for your business because you're able to do a lot more with an iPostal address, even for your personal, but definitely for building your business credit and building up your business uh, present. I hope you found the value in this video and leave a comment if you have any questions. Until next time, remember, today is a great day to be rich.